Welcome to Set Free 24-7. My name is Robert, and this is Reading Through the Bible. I know some of you may think, oh, we're going to do this again. Or maybe you've tried reading it before and you got a few chapters in or maybe two or three weeks in and you just gave up. Well, let us do the hard work of reading the Bible for you. You just put us on in the background and my wife and I will read through some of these chapters and hopefully put a fresh set of eyes because we are reading through this year in the message version. And the thing I like best about what it does here is that it doesn't start out necessarily in Genesis and we're going to end in Revelation. We're going to read a little bit in Matthew today, a little bit in Acts. We're going to read Psalm 1, and then we're going to read the creation story in Genesis 1 and 2. So to start us off today, Heidi is going to be reading the first set of uh, verses here. So this is Matthew 1, 1 through 17. Welcome. Well, hello. I am really glad to be here, and I am so thrilled that you have started me off with a large number of names that I am going to do my very best to pronounce as close as possible to how they're pronounced. So wish me luck, but I'm excited to jump into this. I gave you this one for a reason, so yeah, I'm sorry I, that I set you up for a failure. A I'm glad bit. I skimmed through it so I know what <laughs> lies ahead. So I am going to start us off. I'm going to be reading Matthew 1, verses 1 through 17. And again, this will sound different because it's coming out of the message. I hope you like it as much as I do. Here we go, Matthew 1. The family tree of Jesus Christ, David's son, Abraham's son. Abraham had Isaac, Isaac had Jacob, Jacob had Judah and his brothers, Judah had Perez and Zerah, his mother was Tamar, Perez had Hezron, Hezron had Aram, Aram had Aminadab, Aminadab had Nishan, Nishan had Salmon, Salmon had Boaz, and his mother was Rahab. Boaz had Obed, Ruth was the mother. Obed had Jesse, Jesse had David, and David became king. David had Solomon, Uriah's wife was the mother. Solomon had Rehoboam, Rehoboam had Abijah. Abijah had Asa, Asa had Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat had Joram, Joram had Uzziah, Uzziah had Jatham, Jatham had Ahaz, Ahaz had Hezekiah, Hezekiah had Manasseh, Manasseh had Amon, and Amon had Josiah. Josiah had Jehoiakim and his brothers, and then the people were taken into the Babylonian exile. When the Babylonian exile ended, Jeconiah had Shealtia. Ooh, that's a good one. She, that wasn't even close. <laughs> Shealtiel. Shealtiel? Shealtiel. Shealtiel. Anybody <laughs> having a baby this year, that could be one to put on the yeah, baby that's list. That's a popular name. Shealtiel. Did they discover these names because they went into captivity? Is that where these came from? Shealtiel had Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel had Abiyad. Abiyad had Eliakim, Eliakim had Azor, Azor had Zadok, Zadok had Akim, Akim had Eliad, Eliad had Eleazar, Eleazar had Methan, Methan had Jacob, Jacob had Joseph, Mary's husband, the Mary who gave birth to Jesus, the Jesus who was called Christ. There were 14 generations from Abraham to David, another 14 from David to the Babylonian exile, and yet another 14 from the Babylonian exile to Christ. Hmm. Sounds like they needed a little 23 and me back then. Yes, I also found it interesting that four women listed were all women that were considered to be uh, Colorful women with checkered past, and I find that amazing that they are in the family lineage of Jesus. And that's important to establish, like, you know, these names just didn't pop out of nowhere. They're establishing mm -hmm. this is why Jesus is real. This yes. is why this is the backup to 
the Bible, right? Yeah. This is them saying, I'm going to mic drop here. This is who I yeah. am. <laughs> I found it interesting that it was necessary and included a child born of a mother who was raped by a king who had her husband killed. Mm -hmm. But her child was part of the line that Jesus himself came from. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing. So now we have Acts chapter 1, 1 through 11. Dear Theophilus, in the first volume of this book, I wrote on everything that Jesus began to do and teach until the day he said goodbye to the apostles, the ones he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven. After his death, he presented himself alive to them in many different settings over a period of 40 days. In face-to-face -face meetings, he talked to them about things concerning the kingdom of God. As they met and ate meals together, he told them that they were on no account to leave Jerusalem, but they must wait for what the Father promised, the promise you heard from me. John baptized in water, you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit, and soon. When they were together for the last time, they asked, Master, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel now? Is this the time? He told them, you don't get to know the time. Timing is the Father's business. What you'll get is the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit comes on you, you will be able to be my witness in Jerusalem, all over Judea and Samaria, and even to the ends of the world. These were his last words as they watched. He was taken up and disappeared in a cloud. They stood there staring into the empty sky. Suddenly two men appeared in white robes, and they said, You, Galileans, why do you just stand there looking up at an empty sky? This very Jesus who was taken up from among you to heaven will come as certainly and mysteriously as he left. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine the things they saw? I mean, literally, can you imagine? I can't. So, and now it, on. it and it's so unbelievable, but it's it's the truth. Mm -hmm. But it's unbelievable. Yes. Right? And yeah. that's what makes it amazing. They like literally get to walk and talk and hang with yeah. Jesus. Woo. Pretty so now we're stuff. moving over to Psalm chapter 1. Oh, good. I think I can pronounce all these words. So, <laughs> Psalm 1. How well God must like you. You don't walk in the ruts of those blind as bats. You don't stand with the good for nothings. You don't take your seat among the know it alls. Instead, you thrill to God's word and you chew on scripture day and night. You're a tree replanted in Eden, bearing fresh fruit every month, never dropping a leaf and always in blossom. You're not at all like the wicked, who are mere windblown dust, without defense in court, unfit company for innocent people. God charts the roads you take. The road they take leads to nowhere. Mm. I like the Psalms. I it's do been too. a while since I've I do too. gone through the Psalms. I'm very eager to do that more with this message version. I really enjoy the way it reads. We're going to get an opportunity. And now we have Genesis chapter 1 and 2. Do you want to take chapter 2? I can if you would like. Okay. So Genesis chapter 1, this is where it all began. First this, God created the heavens and the earth. All you see, all you don't see. Earth was a soup of nothingness a bottomless emptiness, an inky blackness. God's spirit brooded like a bird above the watery abyss. God spoke light, and light appeared. God saw that light was good and separated light from dark. God named the light day. He named the dark night. It was evening, it was morning, day number one. God spoke sky. And in the middle of the waters, separate water from water. God made sky. He separated the water under sky from, a, from the water above sky. And there it was. He named sky the heavens. It was evening. 
It was morning, day number two. God spoke, separate, water beneath heaven, gather into one place, land, appear, and there it was. God named the land, earth. He named the pooled water, ocean. God saw that it was good. God spoke, earth, green up, grow all varieties of seed-bearing plants, every sort of fruit-bearing tree, and there it was. Earth produced green seed-bearing plants, all varieties, and fruit-bearing trees of all sorts. God saw that it was good. It was evening, it was morning, day number three. God spoke, lights, come out, shine in heaven's sky, separate day from night, Mark seasons and days and years, lights in heaven's sky to give light to the earth. And there it was. God made two big lights, the larger to take charge of day and the smaller to be in charge of night. And he made stars. God placed them in the heavenly sky to light up earth and oversee day and night, to separate light and dark. God saw that it was good. It was evening, it was morning, day number four. God spoke swarm ocean with fish and all sea life. Birds fly through the sky over earth. God created the huge whales, all the swarm of life in the waters and every kind and species of flying birds. God saw that it was good. God blessed them, prosper, reproduce, fill ocean. Birds reproduce on the earth. It was evening. It was morning. Day number five. God spoke earth. Generate life. Every sort and kind. Cattle and reptiles and wild animals. All kinds. And there it was. Wild animals of every kind. Cattle of all kinds. Every sort of reptile and bug. God saw that it was good. God spoke, let us make human beings in our image, make them reflecting our nature, so they can be responsible for the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the cattle, and yes, earth itself, and every animal that moves on the face of the earth. God created human beings. He created them godlike, reflecting God's nature. He created them male and female. God blessed them, prosper, reproduce, fill the earth, take charge, be responsible for fish in the sea and birds in the air and for every living thing that moves on the face of the earth. Then God said, I've given you every sort of seed-bearing plant on earth and every kind of fruit-bearing tree given them to you for food, to all the animals and to all the birds, everything that moves and breathes I give whatever grows out of the ground for food. And there it was. God looked over everything that he had made. It was so good, so very good. It was evening, it was morning, day number six. And here's chapter two. All right, chapter two. Heaven and earth were finished down to the last detail. By the seventh day, God had finished his work. On the seventh day, he rested from all his work. God blessed the seventh day. He made it a holy day, because on that day, he rested from his work, all the creating had. This is the story of how it all started, of heaven and earth when they were created. At that time, God made earth and heaven before any grasses or shrubs had sprouted from the ground. God hadn't yet sent rain on earth, nor was there anyone around to work the ground. The whole earth was watered by underground springs. God formed man out of dirt from the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life. The man came alive, a living soul. Then God planted a garden in Eden in the east. He put the man he had just made in it. God made all kinds of trees grow from the ground. Trees beautiful to look at and good to eat. The tree of life was in the middle of the garden. Also, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. A river flows out of Eden to water the garden and from there divides into four rivers. The first is named 
Kaishan. It flows through Havilah, where there is gold. The gold of this land is good. The land is also known for a sweet-scented resin and onyx stone. The second river is named Gaihan. It flows through the land of Kush. The third river is named Hedekal and flows east of Assyria. The fourth river is the Euphrates. God took the man and set him down in the Garden of Eden to work the ground and keep it in order. God commanded the man, You can eat from any tree in the garden except from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Don't eat from it. The moment you eat from that tree, you're dead. God said, It's not good for the man to be alone. I'll make him a helper, a companion. So God formed from the dirt of the ground all the animals of the field and all the birds of the air. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. Whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. The man named the cattle, named the birds of the air, named the wild animals, but he didn't find a suitable companion. God put the man into a deep sleep. As he slept, he removed one of his ribs and replaced it with flesh. God then used the rib he had taken from the man to make woman and presented her to the man. The man said, Finally, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, name her woman, for she was made from man. Therefore a man leaves his father and mother and embraces his wife. They became one flesh. The two of them, the man and his wife, were naked, but they had no shame. And look at that. Just like that, we have completed one day of Bible reading. Just that like wasn't that. so hard, was it? No, not at all. Yeah. Well, except for some of those names. The names were kind of hard. I, I totally get that. I will apologize now. I know that I did have some things not pronounced properly. But did you go into it with intent to mispronounce? I went into it with the intent pronounce it the very best I could. Well then, I think you are covered under God's <laughs> grace. Ooh, I'm so grateful for grace, so. Well, friends, if there was a verse in there that stood out to you, or maybe something in there that you would like to talk about, we would love to be part of that conversation. This going through the Bible, reading the Bible in a year is new to us as a couple. This is something we feel would be a blessing to our relationship mm -hmm. and we wanted to do something to share this with others. Yes. This is going to be a lot of fun, I think, for us. And mm -hmm. the cool thing how the message version is set up with doing this through the year is that they set it up so that we're only reading the Bible five days a week. So it's not an everyday necessarily practice. I mean, we could do it every day and just skip ahead a little bit, but it definitely does have a little bit of time in there for if we need to miss a day or something like that. So, yeah. but we look forward to this. Hopefully you'll join us tomorrow mm -hmm. and, I'll we, be here. and we will get started with day number two. It's all about just setting up good little habits and we hope to be one of those good little habits with you. Yes. Get addicted to <laughs> They haven't come out with a support group yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe not to that extreme. But, but pop in and follow along. These are good habits, and we hope to entertain you with our take on some <laughs> things as we go along. So yeah. thanks for joining in. Thanks for checking us out. Have a great day. Thank you. Have a good day.